Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we are going to discuss about DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps roadmap. And this is the same roadmap that we are going to follow in upcoming batch 7 of DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps bootcamp. If interested you can enroll, enrollment is open and all the details will be in the description along with the syllabus. And this is the same roadmap as I say we are going to follow in batch 7. Talking about the new things that I have added in batch 7 which is going to be Python for DevOps complete videos plus mock interviews. Now mock interviews will be taken by someone who is having 10 plus years of experience so that you can get a re uh, very good idea about what kind of questions they are going to ask in DevOps interviews. Okay. Talking about what other things that I have added. So there are tons of new topics, new projects will be added in this uh, upcoming bootcamp uh, whose details I will be giving you in a bit. Now how this roadmap is going to be useful for you even if you are in the batch or even if you are self learning DevSecOps and Cloud DevOps you should definitely follow this roadmap because this will give you a real time good idea about how things happen in companies from DevSecOps point of view. Okay, so yeah, let me explain you in detail what things we are going to cover and what are the things that I have added in this roadmap. So you get a very good idea about uh, learning. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started. So team, uh, batch 7 you can enroll, you can just go to devopshack.com or the link in the description and you'll be able to find the details here you can click on buy course and you can enroll all the details of subscription what exactly we are going to cover will be in the description as well you can check it out okay so if interested make sure to uh, enroll because very soon we are starting and we are going to have limited, <coughs> limited seats in this batch okay so yeah, with that being said let's get started so team let me explain you the syllabus that we are going to cover and i would suggest if even if you are learning by yourself you should follow this kind of syllabus this will help you understand and proper hands-on uh, like knowledge also you'll be getting okay so let us walk you through this is about a section and yeah this is will be the details of the batch it will be starting from 2nd of november classes live classes will be 8 pm to 10 pm ist hours on weekends and on weekdays we'll be uh, getting recorded videos duration will be two months and one week extra plus uh, in addition we can increase uh, one week based on requirement access to content will be of three years this is the first time i'm giving access for three years there will be separate dedicated telegram group and there will be one-to-one -one connects depending on the requirement only if it is really necessary then i'll be connecting over discord and doubt support when it comes to doubt support so there will be two other people other than me who will be specifically added in the group for supporting your doubts so uh, resolving your queries okay then we'll be having uh, docs for the steps and all and then we are going to have separate documents for interview preparation basically having 200 to 300 interview questions on different scenarios okay now talking about module one so in module one basically we are going to have the first understanding what exactly is devops and devsecops and also what exactly is cloud devops what exactly is the difference between these three and we are also going to understand how things happen from DevOps point of view in companies so that we can understand in real time how like we are going to work. What are these steps? What are like how many different teams are there? Okay. And how collaboration happens. We are going to understand that as well. Okay. This will be through flow diagram. Then we are going to have deployment strategies. So deployment strategies also, you know, depending on different companies, they can use different kind of deployment strategies. So we are going to understand different kind of deployment strategies and which one will be perfect for usage. Okay. Then detailed documentation will be there talking about module 2. So in this we are going to first get started with Linux understanding what exactly is Linux. Why is preferred over any other kind of operating systems. Okay. Then we are going to have a uh, hierarchy and key directories then virtual machine. So in virtual machine we are going to understand the architecture of a Linux virtual machine and basically ports. Ports is one of the most important concept within uh, Linux machines or any other machines. So we are going to understand what exactly they are and what exactly they mean and some general ports also I am going to explain that are there for example 22, 80, 443 and 27,017 so and so. Okay. Then understanding how we can create machine and how we can access through SSH, what exactly is SSH and why it is preferred over any username password. Okay. Then managing the ports, how we can manage it, opening port and closing port, those kind of things and how we can decide uh, our virtual machine will be accessible from where, which locations. Okay. Then the basic commands, which is like, see for people who are completely new to uh, DevOps or Linux. So for them, we'll be having understanding basic Linux command, what exactly they are. Okay. Then package management. Package management can be done on different ways. So there are so many different package managers like APT, then Snap. There are ways for installing and upload, updating as well as removing packages. Okay. All those things we are going to discuss. Again, in the second module, we are going to understand the uh, file folder permissions, which is one of the most important concept in Linux folder and file permissions, how we can set up permissions, how we can manage it, how we can modify it. Then 
the user and group management okay we are going to understand user and group management and what exactly is the reason that we are having multiple groups and multiple users okay we are going to understand through hands on then this is the uh, new topic that i have added decided to add in the upcoming batch linux networking we are going to understand in detail about the linux networking how communications happen and what things we need to know in this section okay then troubleshooting what kind of issues we may get in uh, linux so that also we are going to understand okay so then we have shell scripting okay shell scripting will also be covered and in addition to understanding shell scripting and hands on part we are i'm going to add 10 hands on shell script that are being used in companies on regular basis okay corporate level shell script will be added okay then documentation will be there then coming the module 3 which is also quite important so in git we are going to first understand what exactly is git why do we need it how it's beneficial then the essential git concept different there are different concept these are the general commands and there are many advanced topics also that we are going to understand out of which the most important thing that you might be incurring or uh, might be like uh, uh, facing in your interviews is the branching strategy so i'm going to explain you multiple branching strategy not just the general one because in companies they may have different branching strategy depending on the requirement sorry about that then we are going to have the documentation after that we are going to move to build tools so here two build tools in deep we are going to cover which is going to be maven and which another one is going to be npm and the way that we are going to understand the in maven we are going to understand the life cycle phases and then we are going to use it to build a maven project and understand it in real time how exactly it's being used and what are different phases okay similar thing we are going to do with npm as well okay and then documentation will be there then module 5 which is going to be CI/CD tool so i have decided to cover all four CI/CD tools jenkins github action gitlab CI/CD, and azure devops as well okay in jenkins we are going to first set up jenkins understand how exa exactly it works important concept jenkins plugins jenkins job so i'm going to cover all three kind of job freestyle pipeline and multi-branch side by side we are also going to see how we can trigger them from like our repository directly okay basically we how we can enable automation then upstream and downstream upstream and downstream jobs using which you can uh, start another jenkins job using first one okay then shared libraries parameter in jenkins then web hooks then full stack pipelines okay then integrations with sonar cube nexus docker security tools or any other thing that is required in our pipeline okay also notification and backup how we can take backup of jenkins then github action and gitlab cicd complete setup and creating a full stack cicd pipeline okay and then documentations coming to next module sonar cube so see i don't believe that uh, sonar cube should be just about performing the code quality check and uh, code coverage okay they, there are much more things in sonar cube as well see because sonar cube there are two versions of sonar cube generally being used the free version and paid version and there are the main differences between these two which one we should be preferred and uh, how we can get features of paid version in free version all those things i'm going to explain okay so we are going to set up sonar cube and sonar cube webhook as well which will be required when you want to perform the uh, quality gate check okay then we are going to understand the quality profiles and rules then how we can perform quality gate uh, code quality check and code coverage and best part is that i'm going to show you with respect to two different kind of project one with java based project one with no, uh, node.js based projects okay then branch analysis which is a kind of feature available in uh, developer edition or paid edition but how we can get it for free okay then eventually how we can integrate sonar queue with so CICD tool any other CICD tool okay then we have security tools in security tool we are going to have trivi force os dependency check and uh, setup and usage prowler docker os zap which is actually new one that i have decided to add and these two vault also hashicorp vault also i'm going to uh, adding i'm going to be adding in upcoming batch and these two topics os zap and uh, vault setup these are going to be new one okay OS Zap is basically used for penetration testing. Basically, when you build and deploy application, so once your application is deployed, we do penetration testing on that so that we can find out the vulnerable points on our deployed website or application. Then we have module eight, which is about Nexus. So here we are going to understand how we can set up Nexus locally as well as on Docker, how we can manage repositories, how we can create uh, repositories policies how we can publish artifact and for publishing artifact i'm going to show you with respect to maven project and with respect to node.js project okay and then how we can integrate with uh cicd tool this uh, nexus very important concept that i am adding here is the setup 
of setup of private docker registry generally when we uh, we are working in devops what we do we add uh, like public docker registry or we add like when we want to add private docker registry we use ecr or some cloud kind of uh, registries right but in my company we used this one we set up our private docker registry within nexus so that part i am going to show you okay coming to next module so next one we will be having docker in which first we are going to understand what exactly is docker docker image docker file docker container docker architecture then how we can write optimized docker files basically the whole purpose of writing docker file is that one of the purpose is that we need to make sure that our application runs anywhere second purpose is that we need to make sure the package that we create it should be very minimal in size so how we can minimize like make it minimal that part also we are going to cover then we have like how we can build image how we can create containers then docker compose docker networking and volumes and then we are going to uh, do projects hands-on project and that also i'm going to show you with respect to three multi-tier projects i'm going to cover here node.js mysql dotnet mongodb and multi-tier python plus postgres okay kubernetes now kubernetes is one of the most important topic in whole devops First, we are going to understand the architecture setup and advanced concepts. When we talk about setup, we are not going to use Docker. We are going to use container D because Docker is depreciated in newer versions of Kubernetes. Okay, that we are going to see. Then we are going to see pod services, secrets, config map, persistent volume, stains and tolerations. Then Kubernetes networking, understanding how communication can be managed, how we can restrict communication, how we can restrict access to Kubernetes pods. All those things we are going to understand. Then RBAC and highly available cluster, how we can set up role based access control and how we can set up highly available cluster, Kubernetes cluster. Then service mess, which is kind of very interesting topic we should be knowing. So this part also we are going to implement hands on. Then we have local setup and EKS setup so that we know how we can set up self hosted Kubernetes cluster and how we can set up EKS cluster. And then important concept ingress and SSL certificate. So if you know, I was searching on YouTube, I was trying to find some videos on ingress. So people have shown, but nobody actually showed how you can integrate, uh, how to integrate custom domain using ingress and how you can add the SSL certificates also inside the EKS itself. So that when your application is deployed, it is accessible on custom domain plus it is HTTPS enabled. Okay. So that part I'm going to show you hands on. Auto scaling will be there hands on horizontal and vertical auto scaling will be there so that you get good idea. Rollback, how we can do rollback. Helm chart will be there along with the project. Argo CD will be there along with the project. And GitOps will also be there since we are already doing Argo CD. Then there will be multiple projects and documentation. Okay. Then we have Azure DevOps and Azure DevOps. First, we are going to understand what exactly is Azure DevOps versus Azure Cloud. How we can set up organization. Then the core services, repos, pipelines, artifacts, AKS, and ACR. How we can use service principle for authentication because generally everywhere you might be seeing the people use subscription directly but uh, real time we use service principle so that we can limit the we can use the minimum access of permissions okay and then we are going to use uh, ci cd pipelines to deploy to aks both kind of pipelines i'm going to show classic build and release pipeline classic build and yaml pipeline then java project we are going to deploy to web apps that also classic plus yaml then uh, yeah uh, multi three multi-tier applications we are going to deploy java node.js node.js okay that also classic plus yaml okay this will be in uh, azure devops then infrastructure infrastructure we are going to cover in deep dive terraform and ansible with projects and monitoring so in monitoring first i'm going to show you how you can do local setup monitoring tools okay local means like directly on your own machine or directly on a simple virtual machine okay and then i'm going to show you how you can set it up in kubernetes how you can perform kubernetes worker node monitoring and how you can perform application deployed in kubernetes monitoring okay after that we are going to have python for devops that will be added very soon uh, and it will be completely recorded okay and then we have resume building and real time troubleshooting so in basically i'm going to explain you the kind of tasks that are really good to add in your resumes the kind of project that exists and which projects are really useful for you to add if you are fresher or even if you are experienced how to explain the projects those things also we are going to discuss okay talking about the most important part the projects in our uh, course so firstly we are going to have four multi-tier projects that will be having database integrated then microservice application then java based full stack application then high level monitoring project a simple portfolio website and virtual web browser project Kubernetes node monitoring project, Terraform and Ansible 
consolidated together basically i want to show you the project in which terraform and ansible are being used together that's what I'm, i want to show you and then service mesh project so this will be more than enough for you to learn devops completely okay and yes this is my details and yeah you can contact us you can ping me directly on telegram you can whatsapp me on this number and you can also reach out to our website okay so yeah team that will be all and all the details will be in the description so you can check it out